guys, how's your week been? Good! So I take my favourite clips from the weekend and put them in a video. Russia is a place full of fascinating people. One week, I literally showed a woman with a fox on her shoulder getting onto a train. Then there's Putin. Less said about him, the better. Otherwise, I'll probably be poisoned in my sleep. But there's one thing I really admire about Russian people, their resilience in a sticky situation. <laughs> now, for pretty much just anyone else in the world, this much snow coming at you is a good indicator to run away. But when you are this fucked up on vodka, you're having a hell of a time. <laughs> He's laughing. How much brain damage does this guy have? If you're asking whether or not he was alright afterwards, I'm not sure if he was alright before. Why is Putin worried about the US building more weapons? The Americans will be firing rockets at Russia and all the people will be in complete hysterics. Listen to him. He's like, ah. He's getting comfortable in an avalanche. Ah, it's nice to take the weight off the feet. <laughs> when I asked my father what was the secret to a long marriage, he replied, Don't take life too seriously and don't take anything she says seriously. Now I didn't really know what he meant by that. Until later, my mother was shouting at him saying he didn't change the light bulb, he didn't take out the trash, yada yada yada. And he just sat there like this. Until she stopped and she was like, I'm sorry, I've just had a long day. And that was that. Later, I asked him, what is this witchcraft? Son, women like proving everyone wrong. So if you say nothing, they'll eventually prove themselves wrong. And that's the advice I'd like to give to this next guy. <coughs> Yeah, let's be honest, he signed his fucking death warrant. She just needs to calm down and enjoy the Christmas spirit. I mean, who doesn't love Santa hanging from a rope? By his neck. I tell you what, it's been a rough old year for Santa. Christmas just isn't the same with Amazon around. I mean, come on, how is he going to keep up with one day delivery? It's killing him. The poor man's only got a one day window. Now he's starting to branch out. Halloween's making big money at the moment, so he thought he'd try it out. And she went and slammed the door in his face. Fucking Grinch. Who doesn't like a surprise at Christmas? No, but seriously, dude, run. <laughs> I hate thieves. They generally piss me off. They're lazy and unambitious, and then they feel like they're entitled to someone else's stuff. Absolute yobbos. Next time they're breaking through a window, I hope they catch their dick in it. Having said that, I remember walking out of Asda and forgetting to pay for my LucasAid. Honestly, when I realized, I, I started sweating. God, I am so white. And that rather terribly leads me on to this next video of a thief. just not the type of man you want walking up to your door. If he isn't a hitman or a thief, he would definitely be a sex offender. Just look at him, he's trying to pull off an Orlando Bloom beard. Like, come on, we all know you got some sort of spire nest overlooking your neighbor's window. Anyway, Dickhead feels inclined to take the contents of this person's letterbox. And what happened next gave me this fuzzy warm feeling inside. Uh-oh, is that the owners? That guy is having the sex of his life tonight! Did you see the way I just handled that burglar? So fucking manly. Yeah, go upstairs and get ready. Fuck! I can't believe I just did that. Shh. 
Shit, I think I pissed myself. Holy crap, I've never been so scared. The bastard tried running off with my moisturizer. So not long ago, I was in Bulgaria skiing. And I was having lunch with my cousin. Then the food came. I got chicken goujons. And there were five of them. But when I went to the toilet and came back, there were four. I had been robbed. I said to my cousin, did you, uh, did you see where my other goujon went? No, I don't know. Um, what goujon? Really? Well, I see you chewing. Yet you haven't touched your pasta. It, it's pasta. I just had a bit off the side. Bullshit. The basil leaf is still on it and everyone takes it off first. I, uh, don't, don't say a word. Just know I'm really disappointed. And I will remember this. I'm just trying to say I like basil. Yeah? Well, I hope you choke on that basil. Later that day, I walked into reception in the hotel and saw this really creepy doll. I mean, it made sense. It was pretty much Halloween. I took the doll and hung it up in my cousin's room. Then I hid in a corner and waited. He walked in and screamed. <laughs> Payback, bitch! By God, Brad, I almost shit myself! Yeah, almost shit out my goujon. This ain't over. You don't fuck with a man's food and get away with it this easily. So I took the doll and left. The next day, I packed it in my bag with a long piece of rope. I was not planning to kill him. I swear. He asked, What's in the bag? Uh, nothing. Ah. Looks like a stuffed bag. <laughs> really? Do you know what's not in it? What's that? My goujon and... And what? My respect for you, because I lost that as well. When we got to the slopes, I went down first because I was a bit quicker. I set the Santa up down the hill and hung it up onto a tree and waited. As he came round the corner, he screamed and fell. And then he started shouting at me. I'm sorry I took the gouge on. I will pay for your lunch. Just please stop. But as he was shouting, I heard this loud noise. But he kept going though. I'm so, I, I know it was out of character. Wait, 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 stop. What, what's going on? I, I shouldn't have done it. Stop, this is serious. I'm a fat, greedy pig. Oh shit, avalanche. A sea of white was coming down the mountain. Luckily though, the mountain was curved and the worst of it missed us. So we were stuck in snow up to our necks. I said you and your big mouth. First you eat my goujon, then you cause a fucking avalanche. All the links to videos shown are down in the description. Thank you for watching and bye!